It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christa Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 25, 2020 Romans 15 verses 1 to 4 We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but, as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Men whom God favored, and to whom he entrusted great responsibilities, were sometimes overcome by temptation and committed sin, even as we at the present day strive, waver, and frequently fall into error. Their lives, with all their faults and follies, are open before us, both for our encouragement and warning. If they had been represented as without fault, we, with our sinful nature, might despair at our own mistakes and failures. But seeing where others struggled through discouragements like our own, where they fell under temptation as we have done, and yet took heart again and conquered through the grace of God, we are encouraged in our striving after righteousness. As they, though sometimes beaten back, recovered their ground, and were blessed of God, so we too may be overcomers in the strength of Jesus. On the other hand, the record of their lives may serve as a warning to us. It shows that God will by no means clear the guilty. He sees sin in his most favored ones, and he deals with it in them even more strictly than in those who have less light and responsibility. By Ellen White Patriarchs and Prophets, page 238 our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, most holy and all powerful, yet you are most loving Father. With utmost humility we approach you, divine presence. Thank you for creating us, and as sinners, you have sent your only begotten Son to be with us and finally died the eternal death in our place to save us, and by believing in him, we are given the free gifts of salvation and eternal life. Our prayer for you today. We pray for the indwelling of the Divine Presence through the Holy Spirit, our only hope of being finally glorified. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.